Want a cool Roblox banner for your YouTube channel, but you don't have Photoshop? No problem. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to make one for free using just Photopea. It's easy, quick, and it looks great. So let's get started. All right, so once you're at Photopea.com, all you want to do is click on new project right here. For the dimensions, click on YouTube. Why are you talking, Alexa? You're going to want to click on YouTube cover right here and change the height to 423. Eventually, we're going to change this back later on in the video. So make sure you stick around until then because it's the most important part. Name it whatever you want and click create. Now your canvas is made and you're ready to start working. The first thing we're going to do is make our background. So double click on your background layer. Go to gradient overlay. Adjust the scale and move it all the way to the left, which is 5%. Click on the gradient box. Double click on this white box right here and change it to whatever color you want. Later on in the video, I'm going to show you guys how you can change the color to whatever you want once you're done making the project. So if you want, you can just follow me right now and then later on change the color or you can change it to whatever you want right now. It's completely up to you. Click OK. Drag this box all the way to the left. Click on that far left box and change that one to a slightly darker color of the one you picked up here. Click OK and click OK and click OK. And now your background is complete. Almost. I just got you. A few more steps and we will be done with the background. Next up, we're going to go to the ellipse tool on the left side of your screen, which is also you on your keyboard if you like shortcuts, which personally I don't. Then hold left click and drag that circle out while holding shift, which is very important, by the way. Then switch to your move tool and drag it to the center of your screen. Go back to the ellipse tool and change the fill to white. Okay, now let's go ahead and label this just so we can stay somewhat organized because later on, you're gonna hate yourself if you didn't label anything, which I do every single time. So call it inner circle. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit control J to duplicate this circle and name it outer circle. Now hit control, alt and T and make it a little bit bigger. Just drag down on this box and then click that check mark. Now drag it below inner circle. Now go up here to fill and change it to a darker gray. And it's a little too much, so hit control alt T and scale it down just a little bit. You want these corners to meet up here like this. Once you're done, click that check mark. Now, if you want both of them to be a little bit bigger, which I would recommend, hold control and click on both of the layers. Now click control alt and T to free transform it and just scale it up. This should be fine. Next up, we're going to add some more circles over here and over here. So go to your ellipse tool once more. Change the fill to just white for now. And we're just going to start out with this top bar here. So only make circles on this bar. And just hold shift while you do it and kind of randomly place them. Okay. Now click off of it and do it again, but for down here. I would say have about three circles per side like this. Why is this one on its own? Explain. I'm going to remake them. I'll be back. Okay, now I'm finished making the circles. So you'll see why I made them two separate layers right now. So let's go ahead and label these. Uh, we'll do bottom circles. And then for these ones, we'll do top circles. Now, double click on the top circle layer. Go to color overlay. And change it to this bottom color right here, which is the opposite of this color. Click OK and do the same for the bottom circles, but change it to this color. Click OK and click OK. Now you'll see that looks pretty awesome. Next up, we need some text. So get your text tool on the left side of your screen and click anywhere on your canvas except for in the circle because it might try to draw inside the circle, which it didn't. So it doesn't matter where you click. Type in your name, hit Control A and change the color to black for now. Click that check mark again, hit Control Alt T and scale it up. Now it is actually below the circle layers, so just move it to the very top. Now I'm going to show you guys how easy we're going to finish this text. Double click on this text layer, go to gradient overlay and click OK. That's all you had to do. You're welcome. If, if you like that, go ahead and subscribe, you know, because that was a magic trick. I made the text a little bit bigger because I felt like it needed it. Next up, we're going to add some text over here on the left side and the right side. So get your text tool again and type in um, whatever you want. I'm going to type in daily uploads and I need to shrink this. So hit control alt T and shrink it down to about this size. Hit control J to duplicate it and move it to the other side and then have some other stuff like Roblox content. 
Now, I would recommend scaling these down a little bit, by the way, because they are a wee bit too big. So this one is about, we'll go with 75 just to make it easy. This one, 75 as well. And make sure they're kind of in the center, the best you can get it. If you need to, you can use like rulers and stuff, but I kind of just eyeball it, which is not a good idea, but I don't care. So yes, these look pretty good where they are. If this looks uneven, let me know in the comments and make me feel bad. So now we're going to make these look like this just as easy, but one more step. So double click on daily uploads, go to gradient overlay, click on this gradient box here and change the colors to a lighter gray and then a white. Let me make that a little bit lighter. And now if you do it to Roblox content, it'll do the same thing. Okay. Or if you want, you can just keep it pure white. If you don't want to bother personally, I think that the pure white looks better. So we're just going to go with strictly white, no gradient. Okay, so next up we are on roblox not to play the game but to get some screenshots of our character yes this is the first time i've actually done this you're welcome okay so find one with good graphics you guys probably know more than i do i'm gonna click on mega mansion tycoon and click play click x we're not falling for that crap next up find a spot with a good solid background you'll see why in a second so i'm gonna go with this this green here okay don't no oh, okay there's two ways you can do this you can either go up to the three lines and then click on captures and then click this if you know where that file is do that if you don't know where the file is go to your snipping tool on your computer right click new and snip that sucker out all right boom now you can find it in your files get one of the front and get one from the back boom all right now we can get out of this game all f4 now we are back in our project and we can get our screenshots now so go ahead and drag that first one you made into your project click that check mark go up to select remove background and wait just a second boom it's done now hit Control alt t scale that sucker up move it right here boom hit that check mark again move it below everything except for all this crap and then we're gonna go get the other picture of the back drag it in here do the same thing select remove background scale it up you might want to line it up with this one okay move it on this side boom check mark now it doesn't matter which ones in which spot you could have this guy over here and this guy over here or you could have this guy right here and that guy right there and that guy right there and that guy right here, and that guy right here, and that guy right here. now what we're going to do is we're going to change the opacity of our characters after we name them so let's go uh character Oop, that's character. Character right. And then character left. Click on character right. Change the opacity to 40%. And do the same for the left one. And then boom, they are part of the background now. Next up, we're going to make some light spots. So click on this new layer button here. Move it to the very top of your layers panel and rename it to light spot light ah light spots my mouth is dry guys it's hard to talk i don't i just woke up now go to your brush tool hold alt and right click and drag right to make it bigger left to make it smaller up to make it softer down to make it harder make it soft as crap and make it pretty pretty big now just click here oh hold on change the color to a light blue or whatever color you're doing that's the brightest now click once right here once right here change it to overlay and adjust the opacity just a little bit on it to about 50 percent now it's a little late to do this but i think i'm going to readjust the inner circle and the outer circle by holding control clicking both of them and moving it down yeah i want to move it down here maybe even more now we are so close to the end all you have to do now if you want to change the color is go down here to adjustment layer and go to hue and saturation there you can adjust the hue and change the color to whatever you want adjust the uh saturation as well if you want to keep this bar here because if it's too saturated it gets rid of it so yeah i mean come on guys you have to subscribe for that that's just 
that's insane that's an insane strat so now what we're gonna do is the final step before we export go up to window plugins go right here to super bloom and click install click that x and let's click on it right here now adjust everything the depth the radius it's it's hard to make it look right turn the depth all the way down really and kind of like this just click add to document then you can adjust the opacity if it's a little too much i think it's pretty cool i actually lied one more time i'm sorry there's one more step go to this adjustment layer right here click on curves and just go down on this line that's it guys that's it don't hurt me that's it now if you guys want me to make a matching logo with your character on it like this show me some love on this video leave some comments, leave some likes, subscribe, all that, and I will make it next video, if it does well. Now we're going to export. So what you wanna do is go up to image, canvas size, and change the height to 1440. Okay, whoa. Don't worry, it looks a little strange. Click on this new adjustment layer and click on gradient fill. Change the angle to 90, go in here, and remember what we did last time, go all the way over here with this one, Change the colors. We're going to go with a light and then a dark blue and change the scale like that. Okay, it looks a little strange, but when it's on the banner, it will look pretty good. Now go up to file, export as JPEG and click save. But don't stop there. If you want to take your designs to the next level, check out my channel membership. You'll get access to hundreds of high quality effects in a massive folder, plus exclusive perks like special badges and more. If you don't want to spend money, no worries. Head over to my Gumroad. I've got tons of free graphics packs ready to download. And don't forget to join my Discord. It's the perfect place to chat with other creators, get feedback on your work, and join in on community events. Links are in the description. Check them out and keep creating.